Yo, Snapchat, how do we restructure society so that everyone's working together on audacious goals? Let's go. Okay, so I don't know where I'm exactly going to go with this idea, so it's going to be a little bit of a rant and a ramble. Um, uh, it's probably going to end up going back to blockchain and DAOs, so send me your own topics and I'll do a future thought on your own topic. Okay, so I think you'll agree that the majority of our society is all built around one concept, this idea of chasing money. It's, it's the single unifying incentive mechanism across the entire globe. And in many instances, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, money is kind of like a, a personal drive for many startup founders, and it, it kind of helps drive innovation and progress forward more. Plus, you have resources to do more things. And if you're a mission-oriented company like, say, SpaceX or Tesla, where there's a real core mission at the, at the beginning of the company, um, you know, more money, more resources, more profit helps you achieve that mission faster. But that said, we all know that the majority of companies, their mission is to make profit. <laughs> so basically, make whatever the fuck sells to make more money. <laughs> and for publicly traded companies, making profit is a legal requirement. And that's, that's bizarre. That's, yeah, the majority of the world works this way. It's so bizarre. And so if you think of the future as kind of like a, a, a whole bunch of possible uh, probabilistic paths that we could choose, um, and basically, you know, once you get to it, it collapses down to one possibility. And like capitalism, consumerism, we're already on this path. So we've chosen that, you know, well in the past because of all the other craziness that happened in the history. Um, but now we're on this path. But I think that affects so much of our society. So you've got money, which is kind of like this artificial scarcity. We've, we've invented it out of really nowhere for good reasons. But, you know, the government controls it and the banks kind of just get to print as much as they want. And that becomes our scarce resource. Then you get companies and businesses kind of, uh, and startups and entrepreneurs uh, incentivized to chase that money to get as much of that, that scarce resource as possible. Based on the technology available and kind of like supply and demand, companies will kind of carve out a new niche. Like you think of like the app stores that were created. So uh, Apple created a massive app store, Google created a massive app store. And at the core, those app stores were created with a profit motive, with some other emissions and stuff on top. But uh, by doing that, it's also created this massive new market, which causes all these other indirect businesses and ancillary businesses. And so now you've got hundreds of thousands of like app developers and a whole kind of motivation for people to get into app development, to build things, to make money, to get a, a small chunk of that huge pie that these companies have created. But I mean, the entire app store, like, is, is there anything really audacious on there? Like, you've got all these humans chasing, like, basically making games and silly little apps that are fun, but yeah. There's that quote that, like, you know, some of the best minds of my generation are working on how to make people click ads. Like, it, it's a similar thing, but in the app store scenario. So it's, it's a weird world. And so then this whole structure flows throughout all society. So then this is the reason why you get bullshit jobs because you need like uh, admin staff, you need all these people like just to kind of keep the machines running at these big companies. You get bullshit uh, SaaS products, like really, really boring uh, software as a service products that are basically invented to help you manage that business and manage all the admin and, and costs and stuff. And after a few years, this kind of like incentivizes the education system to catch up. Um, but it, the whole education system is really built around like training people for these type of jobs, for these bullshit jobs. And as a final side effect, you also get this idea of competition. Like, competition in society, humans, humans are trained from very early on that competition is a good thing. But it's actually not, in some senses. Competition by its nature means don't share any information. And this is why patents exist. This is why I have to sign fucking NDAs all the time. This is why copyright exists, because people don't want to share, because they're competing. Venture capitalist and one of the co-founders of PayPal, uh, Peter Thiel, has a really good book about this. Um, he basically says that uh, competition is really bad. You don't want competition. Particularly in startups, you want monopolies. And also because when you're competing with other companies, typically you tend to just look at them and follow them and you go down the same path. So they just increment each other and they all look the same. No one's doing 10x better than anyone else. Okay, so like I said, this thought's still forming. I haven't quite processed it all yet. Um, and it's a very, there's some very pessimistic ideas there. So let's talk about how the future could be. If you could restructure society from scratch, what would you do? Okay, so imagine if everything was structured around goals, around big, hairy, audacious goals, uh, big problems to solve or big moonshot uh, projects. And everyone just gathers around them and works on that project. And so when you're going through the education system, you will never ask, you'd never be asked, like, what do you want to be when you grow up? What industry do you want to go into? Like, that would not happen. Instead, it could be like, which mission do you want to work on when you grow up? Uh, which, which problem do you want to solve? Which, which really cool moonshot project do you want to work on? And you can publicly see them throughout society. So do you really want to help establish a Mars colony? Or do you want to cure cancer? Or do you want to um, create the neural lace that Elon Musk talks about? Cool. Here's where you go to learn about it. I mean, even something like curing cancer right now, um, there's no one place you can go where you can be like, here's everyone's research and what everyone's thinking and the entire open data of everyone working on that problem. Instead, it's here's a couple of hundred companies that are working on it and all their data is private and proprietary and you can't find out what they've done. And no one's talking to each other and they're all competing. 
instead imagine if a 10 year old was like, I really, really want to cure cancer. Okay, I can go into this online platform, I can immediately start helping and talking to all the companies, I can access all their research, all their data, everything's open. So I guess you could kind of call these things like uh, radically open, radically transparent cooperatives of companies and groups and organizations all working together on solving particular missions or working on moonshot projects. And rather than companies competing against each other for who can create, you know, in, in private and secret, who can create the cure to cancer and make the most profit out of it, instead they're all, they're all working together to cure cancer. So curing, curing cancer and like climate change and creating Mars colony, they're big, big audacious goals. But the, the same system can be applied to more simple problems. Um, you can basically just throw up a problem and gather people around that mission. Okay, so how might you make this, this system? Well, this is a, I, I love blockchain and DAOs. So you could basically create a DAO around this where everyone gathers around it um, and everyone has an equal say. And see, with like blockchain and DAOs and stuff like that, you wouldn't have to um, completely radicalize and change capitalism. You still just like pull on that same profit motive, the same thing. I guess to say the curing cancer thing. So what you do is you create you create a DIO around that. You create a, a cryptocurrency that anyone can invest in. So when you invest in it, you're investing in that cure. It's almost like creating an umbrella company. So the cryptocurrency would be like shares. Anyone can invest, which adds donations into a giant pool. Companies that are already working on curing cancer and other businesses and organizations and people can opt into this system, but by being in this system you have to be radically transparent and open and upload all your data onto the blockchain. But in return you can somehow incentivize um, the more data they share, the more value they add to solving this problem, the more equity they get, the more cryptocurrency they get in that curing cancer DAO. And at a certain scale this will actually, this will actually, yeah, oh, this will actually force every company to like be involved in that DAO because by working on it themselves they won't achieve anything. Meaning if this like cooperative, this collective of uh, all these companies of people uh, sharing stuff on the DAO and being completely open and trying to cure cancer, uh, that versus like one company trying to do it, that one company would have to like invest, it would have to join that DAO, would have to like join in on that system because they wouldn't get anywhere by themselves when they're up against thousands of other companies. <laughs> it's kind of like actually uh, taking advantage of that whole profit motive and that whole, uh, that competitive drive, but using it against the companies so that they have to be involved in the system if they want to win. And so you have like thousands of companies all around the world, all sharing open data and everything they possibly know, all knowledge, um, and you know, 10 year old kids and everyone working in this DAO with equity. Meaning this cooperative has a far greater chance of solving cancer and curing it than any other individual group around the world. And if this cooperative DAO does cure cancer and finds a cure, they can then commercialize that, sell the drug, and then everyone benefits because everyone has equity ownership in that DAO. Now apply that to every other hairy audacious goal in society, every moonshot project, because what it does is it removes competition, uh, creates radical openness and cooperation, but still uses that capitalistic drive. Like, how exciting is that idea, hey? Snap your thoughts, I future for quite deep. Have a great day, guys. Oh.